Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got these two identical semicircles in this given rectangle that are tangent to each other, as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the dimensions of this rectangle are 3 and 2. And one more thing that these three points over here, they are collinear. And now we are going to ask to find the area of this blue shaded region. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step. Let's call these radii, the radius of this semicircle, I'm going to call this radius R. This is going to be R as well. Likewise, this is the radius R. And now we are going to connect this point E and F. As you can see in this new diagram, and now we are going to drop a perpendicular FG from a point this F onto this line AB and point G is somewhere here. We don't know the exact location. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now in this next step, let's focus on this rectangle AGFD. And here's the definition of rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. That means this opposite side is going to be the same as this opposite side. So that means if this is two units, so this has got to be two units as well. So therefore, our, our FG equals to two. And furthermore, we know that the radius of the semicircle, this one is R, and this one is R as well. So the total length, this EF is going to be R plus R is going to be equal to 2R. So thus our EF length is going to be 2R. And now let's focus on this rectangle GBCF. And since this is a rectangle, so that means these two opposite sides are going to be same in length. And we know that this is just the FC is just the radius R of the semicircle. So that means this GB is going to be radius R as well. So thus GB equals to R. And furthermore, we know that this AE is also the radius R of the semicircle. So now we are interested in finding this distance EG. And this is simply is going to be equal to this 3 total length AB is 3 minus this R and this R. So that is going to become simply 3 minus 2R. So thus EG turns out to be equal to 3 minus 2R. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle EG f and since this is a right triangle so we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's the pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and now let's focus on our this right triangle a g e g f rather in this one the longest leg is e f i'm gonna call that leg c this horizontal leg i'm gonna call a and this vertical leg I'm going to call B. And here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, A is 3 minus 2R, B is 2, and C equals to 2R. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So A is going to become 3 minus 2R square plus 2 square equal to 2R square. And now let's go ahead and simplify this thing. As far as this binomial is concerned, we are going to expand by use, using this formula, a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let's go ahead and expand this thing. That's going to become 9 minus 12r plus 4r square plus 
4 equal to 4 r square now this 4 r square and this 4 r square they are gone so we ended up with 9 plus 4 is 13 minus 12 r equal to 0 that tells us that uh, 12 r equal to 13 that means r is going to be simply 13 over 12 so this is the radius turns out to be 13 over 12 and here's our next step we are going to find the area of these two semicircles that means since we have a two semicircles i say two times the area of each semicircle and here's the area of a circle formula pi r square and since we are dealing with a semicircle so i'm going to divide it by two so therefore total the circular area is going to be a two times we can see over here the area of semicircle is pi r square divided by two so just go ahead and put down pi r square divided by two this two and two is gone so we simply ended up with pi r square and we know that the r radius is 13 over 12 let's go ahead and fill in the blank so pi times 13 divided by 12 square is going to give us 169 divided by 144 pi here in this next step we are going to calculate the area of the rectangle this big rectangle a b c d and here's the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length time width in our case the length is 3 and the width is 2 units so thus the area is going to be equal to 3 times 2 equal to 6 so thus the rectangular area turns out to be 6 square units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this blue shaded region all of it and we know that is going to be equal to this rectangular area minus the circular area so let's go ahead and calculate that one we know our rectangular area we already figured out which is six so let's put down six minus the circular area we figured out which is 169 divided by 144 pi so let's go ahead and write down 169 over 144 pi so thus the area of this blue shaded region turns out to be equal to 6 minus 169 divided by 144 pi and if we replace pi by 3.14 then our area is approximately equal to 2.315 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye